Hi, welcome back to JTS Astro Photography. Just going to make a little quick video tutorial here today. Um, so one of my viewers were wanting to know how I uh, attached the Zenith Star 61 to the Star Adventure. Um, it's pretty simple, um, but I will walk you through it because there's a couple different items that I had to buy separately to be able to do it um, uh, correctly, sturdy where it'd be sturdy enough where there would be no vibration or anything. So I will go ahead and get into it. So first of all, you will need the Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro Pack, which comes with the declination bracket and the counterweight. And here's the declination fine tuning knob. So you can move it around like that. And this has a normal tripod thread on it. But this goes on the Star Adventure like that. But one other thing to counter the extra weight for the Zenith Star 61, I've done a modification here. So this is the ball head adapter for the Star Adventure. But I took the 3 8 thread out of it and put the screw in for the stopper on the shaft here and screwed it into it. So this is now the counterweight stopper. Then I took one of the Allen screws and put the 3 8 thread on backwards. So now I can screw on a ball head for extra weight like this. So this is a ball head here. Weighs about seven ounces, something like that. And that screws on just like that. So now that gives me enough weight to counter the weight of the Xenostar Star 61 with the guide scope. So now I will go ahead and show you how I attach that. So that just goes on here just like that. Right there. We'll keep that up high until I get the scope on here. So now the second thing you'll need is the William Optics Dovetail Saddle. This is an expensive part, it's 50 bucks. It's not cheap, but it does the job. The one problem with it I have is you gotta plan out where you're pointing your scope because one side, you can't go all the way around because that knob hits. You could probably get a different size knob for it, but I still got the original one. It just goes below the spot here and it hits so you can't turn all the way around so you just have to plan out what you're shooting and be sure you have it on the right side but that's not a huge deal as long as you know what you're shooting in which direction you're pointing but for the most part it works out but this is a definitely uh this is definitely a good item right here it's really heavy duty but we'll go ahead and put that on here that just screws into the bottom as so and I'm usually shooting towards the east anyway so it works out so I'm always sort of pointed that way so we'll leave that on there like that and now time for the scope so here we have the Xenostar Star 61 Got my DSLR on there and the guide scope up top. And this this is what comes with the scope. This is the William Optics Xenostar 61 2, version 2. So this, just loosen that up and slide that on. And I've made marks to where I know where it's balanced. So about right there is good. And we can slide that counterweight down. And there you have it. That is how you connect the William Optics Zenith Star 61 to the Star Adventure. And this way you can just point it whichever you like. Loosen that up and point it whichever you want. And to balance it, you're just making sure you have that counterweight balanced right. Then when, when you have your target framed up, you can just lock that down 
and you are good to go. So uh, thanks for watching this quick little tutorial here. And uh, as always, um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And as always, clear skies. Thanks for watching. Bye.